welcome to my first ever video on this channel. Can't believe that I've actually started a channel because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just always thought, well, what do I post about? And uh, would people even watch it? But I think I've just sort of let go of that now and realized that I actually really enjoy creating content, creating videos, and I thought, well, why not do it on YouTube as well? I've really enjoyed creating Instagram content over the past year and a bit. And honestly, when I first started, I did not have a clue how to use Instagram Reels or anything like that. But bit by bit, I've built it up and changed things. And I'll probably look back at my videos that I'm posting now in like a few months and think that, oh, there's so much I've changed about that. But that's like the beauty of it because you are constantly improving and you're never going to be perfect at the start I think a lot of people need to remember that so yeah having said that this first video is probably not going to be perfect that's what I was leading into so it's probably going to feel a little bit all over the place and a bit bitty but I just want it to be like an introduction to me, who I am, what I like doing, what to expect from me. So I'm Amber and I live in the UK and I started posting fashion content on Instagram just over a year ago and I really, really enjoy it. I am a creative person and I was finding that when I wasn't doing creative things because maybe some of the jobs that I was doing were a bit a bit boring sometimes and not really like mentally stimulating um I found that I needed another way to be creative so doing the Instagram content making the reels doing the fashion content is something that I'm interested in because it's clothes and I've always had an interest in fashion and clothes and making the reels allows me to be creative and think of new ideas and especially recently I've tried to post not just standard like clothes um what would I say recently I've been trying to post more educational content and content that people um will find beneficial so in December I actually also created another Instagram and TikTok which is based more around food and travel it's called Eat Stop Travels um and this is where I post like food reviews, hotels, uh, different travel bits and bobs. So if you're into that kind of thing, check out that as well. So for this first video, I'm just gonna do a kind of week in the life and I'm also gonna do a River Island haul because I've ordered some nice pieces from there. So I'm gonna show you what I got from there and do a little try on in this video as well. So we're gonna go back in time to Monday and I'm gonna show you what I got up to Monday. <laughs> Bags are really good for £25. We both had uh, king prawn and chili linguine. Yeah, very tasty. So yeah, last meal out for a while. That's sad. This is my going for food 
person. <laughs> so I need to find some more people to go for food with. <laughs> so it's now Thursday morning and I'm going to show you some pieces I got. Um, just two different parcels. One of them it was gifted and then the other one is from River Island. So I'm going to do like a mini haul try on. Um, I say haul but I think there's only like five things. But to be honest, I don't normally ever order from River Island, so that's quite a lot for me. But yeah, I'll just show you the first thing. So I got gifted these sandals from XY London. So they're just like, just a standard black dupe style sandal. So... I'm going on holiday soon and I've got another couple of like little city breaks booked so I feel like these will be perfect and they seem like they'll actually be quite comfy because they're not too hard and they're just really easy to style with anything. I think these will look really nice with wide leg trousers, with shorts, skirts, literally anything. They're just like a standard sandal that everyone should have. But yeah, we would we would love we would love the real ones, but for now these will do. <laughs> Okay, so this is my River Island parcel. So I'm gonna unpackage it now and show you what's inside. Okay, oh, this is everything. This actually seems like a lot. I don't actually remember what I ordered now. <laughs> so it's gonna be a surprise for me as well. Okay, I'm gonna quickly just put everything on hangers just so it's easier to hold up and show you. So I'll be back in a minute. So first couple of things, we've got this black like linen style shirt with the matching little black shorts. First impression, I feel like the shorts I'm gonna like more than the shirt, but also they don't have any belt loops, so if they are a little bit loose, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So next up, we've got another cohort set, and this is actually described as light green on the website, but it's definitely not green, or not what I would call green anyway, because it's like a lovely, beige colour. Another waistcoat cohort set. I just love a waistcoat matching set. I don't really know about this waistband. I feel like it will look nice with this but then say if you put this with like just a plain white top I don't know how it's gonna look. It just, I don't know, it looks a little bit bit cheap I think. The waistband on these trousers on the first set just looks a lot more chic really like it just looks better and i got these white jeans and i noticed that this was something that was actually missing from my spring summer wardrobe i don't have any white jeans and i haven't had any for a while i think the last time i had a pair of white jeans they were probably like the skinny joni jeans from top shop so that's definitely been a good few years i just thought it was such a nice top I can imagine with like some blue jeans and a blazer or some wide leg trousers or you know you could even dress it up as well if you're going out for dinner or something with heels it's just a very versatile top also with shorts things like that so yeah hopefully this one looks nice on because i definitely want to keep this one but i do really like this it's really comfy and airy and i think it looks nice open with a top but also done up would be nice as well. I'm just gonna do it up. I think for the summer it would be oh these shorts don't have pockets. I keep going to put my hand in the pocket and there's no pocket. Is that a deal breaker? Who knows? Here's the first waistcoat set and I really like this one. I love the colour of it. It's such like an unusual colour. Apparently it's light green. It's not but it's yeah it's really nice i just don't know if it looks a little bit too oversized i feel like i'm so fussy with stuff now but it goes out a little bit here at the bottom and i just don't know if it looks a little bit oversized but i think it is meant to be like that i think that's the style of it these trousers i don't think they're the right color so i don't know i'm sure they were a matching set but maybe it was just like similar and i just thought they were a matching set so I've just put the jeans on with this waistcoat and I do really like them. Like they're really comfortable. The waist is a really nice fit. Like it's just got a little bit of room in, which is nice. But the only thing that's really annoying me, this little stitch here, like why, why is it that color? She looks like a mark is on the jeans and I feel like that's just gonna annoy me because <laughs> literally from here, 
I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it just looks like I've spilled something down there. And, you know, I probably would end up spilling stuff down these if I was wearing them, but I don't want an extra mark on them <laughs> before I've even left the house. Oh, unfortunately, they might have to go back, which I'm sad about because the length is actually really nice. So here's the little top with the twisted detail. I think this is actually so nice and it's not too see-through, so it's got a nice ribbed material. And I think it looks so nice with these trousers, like the colors really complement each other. And then this brown bag as well. Like this color is just perfect for spring and summer. I think this color accessory is the accessory you need for spring and summer. Hope you enjoyed that little try on haul and I'll make sure to link everything in the caption below. I think River Island have definitely upped their game because I hadn't shot there for so long, like years. And then I think it was like a few months ago, I went in there and I was trying to find a dress. So I ended up getting this really nice red dress from there. And then I've seen so many like nice, they're really good at doing waistcoat cohort sets. Like they're just so good at it. A lot of me, moaning and judging but i really like to be sure about clothes and i don't like just keeping things for the sake of it because i've got to a point where pretty much everything that i own that's in my wardrobe i do really love it and i know it fits nice i know that i'm going to wear it again and again and if i don't get that feeling when i buy something new i just think well is there a, is it worth keeping it I'm really gutted about the white jeans. I really want to keep them, but I just can't get over the little, the little stitching thing. It's just, I don't know whether that's like a fault on that pair. So I'm actually about to go into town now and I'm actually gonna look in River Island and see if the jeans are in there and see whether they're meant to have that little stitching or whether it is meant to be like white stitching. So the rest of the stitching is not that color and it's just that one little section. So I'm gonna have a look and see, and then hopefully I'll find them. But hopefully if I don't find any in there, I'll find a pair of white jeans somewhere else. But yeah, so about to head into town now, and I'm gonna take you with me as well. Maybe show you some of the things that are in the shops. I'm gonna have a look around the shops. I haven't actually been shopping for so long, like since December maybe? But yeah, just gonna go and look for some last minute clothing pieces because I'm about to go to America and I need some spring, summer type stuff because the weather's gonna be 20, like early 20, like 22, 23 in one of the places that we're going to. So I don't wanna be wearing loads of layers. So we did it I. I've really wrapped up. I've got like three layers on. I've got like a t-shirt and a jumper and a coat, but I'm kind of glad because it's windy. Hopefully I don't get too hot when I'm walking around because I feel like that is the worst thing when you've like really wrapped up because it's cold outside. But then when you're walking around the shops, especially if you're trying to like get stuff done and you just get really hot. So. I love this jumper, but I don't think it's the weather for it now, is it? It's quite thick as well. It feels really good quality. Trying on these Adenola cotton pants, and I've wanted these for so long. I really wanted them last summer, and I never ended up getting them. But they just feel like really good quality. Okay, I really like how they look on. Like they're such a nice fit. I love them with the Birkenstocks. Like this is the kind of style that I was going for. Just like a slouchy fit. They do look a little bit like pajamas, but. You know, comfort is key. It's it's a win. So I wanted to get a coffee from Arkit and I went in there and they've got rid of the cafe. I'm so upset. So I thought I would try out this new place, ELM, that's just opened. It's like proper Instagram. <laughs> and then I also got like a salted caramel croissant. So I'll try that in a bit, let you know how it's like, what it tastes like.
shopping I actually had a very successful day so I got those cotton pull-on trousers from Adenola and then I actually found some really nice white jeans in H&M so I bought them they're only 27.99 so yeah I did my exchange with the trousers so yeah they were basically free I got 10 pound back <laughs> just gonna go ahead for a little bite to eat now and take my laptop with me try and reply back to some emails because I'm so behind on it shopping had a really nice lunch got a few emails done as well which was a bonus because they've just been building up for a while so I needed to have a little sift through I've still got some more to do but honestly I just feel like I leave them for a while and then they just mount up and then it seems like an impossible task but if I just kept on top of them it would be fine but yeah I feel like people know the struggle with emails <laughs> anyway I thought I would try the pastry that I bought because I was good I wanted to eat it straight away but I was literally like I've got nowhere to sit and eat it and there was a queue to go in so I just got it as a takeaway with a coffee so I drank the coffee and I was just walking around with this really big bag for a while um and I had my hands full so I was like I can't really eat it while I'm walking all the branding is really cute look you're the sweetest and the coffee was actually really good. I'm quite fussy with coffee. It was actually really nice. Sometimes with these Instagrammable places, it's like it looks great, but then you taste the food and it's actually not that great. And it's like really overpriced. So I'm intrigued about this croissant. So it was, I don't know if I've got a receipt. I think it was £5 for this croissant. So I got the salted caramel round croissant. I have to say, the attention to detail is very nice. And it is a big croissant. That is it. And it's quite a, a hefty size. That is really... Oh, it's got like cream inside. That is really good. Really, really good. Definitely recommend that. I'm about to go and get some food for dinner, but I'm going to finish the rest of that after. Was that so nice. They had so many nice looking cakes people were literally outside and they were looking in like it felt like it was a zoo because everyone was just looking taking pictures of all the cakes because they're all in the window but they did look good so i definitely want to go back and try it for brunch or breakfast apparently people were queuing for an hour on the weekend i was like can't be doing with that but i'll go back in the week and yeah go for brunch or lunch there because if the pastries are nice i'm sure the food's gonna be nice <laughs> I'm fresh, I've showered, she's stinky. Yeah, my shorts are also inside out, which yeah. I didn't know about. But you sort of snaked me and said you were going to go in the shower and I didn't really, I wasn't really prepared for that, so. You know, we normally just both go sweaty, so. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and get a coffee. Mm -hmm. And I want something to eat, because I'm really hungry. Like what is that the loud noise of? It's when your hair's wet and you squish in the car. Is that actually the noise bit? Though? Yeah. <laughs> So on this channel, I'll be posting fashion videos. I'll be posting videos about how you can maximize your wardrobe, what good capsule pieces to have in your wardrobe, spring essentials, things like that. I'll also probably do a few hauls. I know I wanna order some things from Abercrombie because I ordered a few pieces from them a while ago and they're really good quality. So I definitely wanna try out the jeans and I also wanna try out the Salone trousers because I got them but I don't think I got the right size. So I definitely want to try and get a good pair of them. And I think they're so good because they do so many different waist sizes and they do different lengths as well. And a lot of places don't do that. So that's like really beneficial. So yeah, I want to do an order from them. And then I've also got some really exciting trips coming up this year. So I'm going to be doing some travel vlogs as well, which I think is probably... I'm probably going to enjoy that the most. Not being mean towards the fashion content, but I just love 
traveling and just being in a new city or a new place and just in, just exploring, like just waking up, going to get a coffee, walking around the town, looking at the buildings, going for lunch, like doing all the touristy things. I just, I just love it. So there's definitely going to be some travel content on here. Thank you so, so much for watching my first ever video. If you made it to the end, amazing. I'm so glad. And if you like the sound of what's to come, then please do subscribe. My next video is going to be a San Francisco vlog because I'm going to America soon and that's the first place I'm going. So stay tuned for the San Francisco vlog. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. We're only there for a short amount of time, but I'm going to try and capture as much as I can and vlog as much as I can when I'm there. See you in the next video. Bye!